Particle velocity measurements are optimal for background noise reduction. There are three reasons for this. The first reason is reflection on the hard, rigid surface. When a sound wave hits a hard surface, it will reflect, and at the point of reflection, the sound pressure measured with a pressure microphone goes up, and the particle velocity measured with a microphone goes down. So due to the reflection, sound pressure is measured as a higher value and particle velocity is measured as a lower value. This is the first reason. The second reason is the incompressibility of the air close to a vibrating surface. If this surface is vibrating, the first layer of air will be incompressible, which means that the air is moving in the same way as the vibrating surface. So what happens is that the sound pressure is really low caused by the vibration of the surface and the particle velocity is really high close to the vibrating surface. The third reason is the directionality of a pressure microphone and the directionality of a particle velocity microphone. The directionality of a pressure microphone is omnidirectional which means that sound in all directions is heard equally loud. A microphone however has got a figure of 8 directivity, which means that sound in this direction is heard and sound in this direction is not heard. This effect only will also save 10 dB.